All right, so here's a fan update from Tubular Tokes store number two in Largo. Um, that fan's going way faster than it looks like. That's just the camera refresh rate. So the outside fan is now a brown Caribbean breeze. This was previously a white tat, and then it was a white Caribbean breeze, and now it's a brown Caribbean breeze, and this is here to stay. Um, that brown looks really good with the, the black trim that we have going on out here. It really pops. So as you come in the door, this is new too. A blender fan used to be here. Um, we now have this Kodak made by Golden Fan slash View Fan. This one's a labeled Golden Fan, GEMC, Golden Electric Manufacturing Company. This is from the probably the late 70s or early 80s, and that factory finish is so good, you can actually read the logo in the floor mat. That's the best chrome finish I've ever seen on any appliance ever. It's incredible. So that's uh, running on this choke right here, running on its lowest speed right there. The uh, outdoor fan, the Caribbean breeze out front there, is running on this choke right here. So. Both fans run a choke from a different brand. Um, so this showed up in the mail. This is a Hunter C18, Hunter adjustable. Uh, got this on eBay. Th this canopy is so ridiculously thick, the casting on this. Th the canopy is almost thicker than a modern originals motor housing. It's insane. So the switch got damaged a little bit in shipping. I think the switch itself is fine but the, the plastic cap on the ends got broken into two large pieces and about 50 or 60 tiny fragments that I threw away because there was nothing you could do with them. So I'm gonna have to source a new switch or rebuild that. Um, we'll see what happens with that, but that's coming in the future. Um, blades are hanging out down here. Let's take a quick look at those. Notice how the blades get wider right outside the blade iron. Like this fan has that horsepower to push. Imagine if you put blades like this on a Home Trends or a Honeywell fan <laughs> from Walmart. And then another sneak preview of something that comes in the future is this SMC A52 Nostalgic. It was nostalgic at a time when people still wore a tie in their own living room. Look at that Jimmy Carter looking motherfucker right there. Um, so we, we still got a bunch of uh, portable fans going on here. This is a Galaxy. This is a little nine inch two speed Galaxy, new old. All these fans were new old stock when I got them. This one I just got yesterday, just showed up. Um, this is a Galaxy by Lasco. It's, it's the, the last version. It still had the old school look with the full chrome and everything. Um, another Galaxy, but a different generation. And then up here on the right above the ATM on its own little shelf is this GE Mortal X. It's probably from about the 1930s. Fully restored, absolutely gorgeous. Nice sundial wire cloth cord, vintage style plug. Um, so let's see. So what else you haven't seen in terms of fans? Comes through the Munchie Mart, past the 1895s, past that little Hunter bath and dressing room. So y'all have seen Hunter Hall before. Comment on which fan should come down for the C18 to go up since we're out of space in Hunter Hall. I mean, the most obvious solution would be this one since it doesn't have any blades or irons. It's just a motor taking up space at the moment. But now we have a fan display in this room as well. There's that blender fan that used to be over the door where the chrome view fan Kodak is now. All right, so let's take a look at what we got. We got a Homestead. Budweiser special edition for speed rotary switch with the matching light kit. This is a Homestead, uh, same thing, four speed click switch, Budweiser special edition. All these fans do work. Um, go ahead and turn them on as we go here. Here's an ornate Emerson 1895 series, second generation, four speed, tuna can canopy, rounded switch cap, rounded blade irons. 
Um, I'm looking for a fourth one of these slag glass shades and then we're gonna put them on the light kit. But honestly, those globes are nice enough for now. So that's already running on its lowest speed. There's that little Kathy Ireland piece of shit. We won't talk about that. There's a Fasco Charleston right there. The uh, original fan that has been in this room since I moved into the space. Two speed R&M original, allegedly fully made in America, motor made in America. That is what R&M claimed at this time. Apparently it's possible that the very earliest ones were not imports. Um, apparently these were actually made in Tennessee motors and all. So this is a, a non-hunter, Robbins and Myers only comfort breeze. Um, then over here we have this blender fan that I four speedified years ago running on its fourth speed. Um, then we got a little pillow light. The, that came from Becker Lighting in uh, Menasha, Wisconsin. That's some sort of postmodern, late 80s, early 90s vibe light. Uh, kind of hard to see the colors here, but it's red, blue, and yellow. Super cool. Got that on eBay. I actually imported that from somewhere in Europe, like Czechoslovakia or somewhere. I don't know. Um, this came from Becker Lighting in Menasha, Wisconsin as well. We kept the original Becker Lighting tag. So the Homestead paddle fan, it's 38 inch, six blade, four speeds. This originally sold for $398. This was on the display on the showroom floor. Okay, so that's what we've got going on. Um, by the way, cool thing I found on Amazon, look at this, check this out. Really nice old school full metal gable attic fan that actually just has a regular cord and plug. So that's, uh, that's pretty cool. Try to get some info for you guys right there.